Hey, um, welcome, welcome to Grew, and I thank you so so much for taking time out and being a guest on the show tonight, buddy. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Definitely, of course. So, um, how how did everything go for for Christmas? Was did you did you have a good Christmas? Um, yeah, J- my little brother Jake. I'm I'm in New York. Uh, and my little brother Jake had COVID, so oh, no. he was quarantining. So other than that, though, it was pretty like pretty good. Yeah, but very relaxed this year. How about you? Uh, about the same. Um, uh, my mom was sick, but not COVID related, and um, so was my uh, step stepdad too. And luckily, both wasn't COVID, but they did come down with like a uh, some kind of flu yeah i know and um but but yeah other than that everything else was was pretty good like we we had some good food i was over my cup my cousin's house and we we did like the uh, italian dinner because you know we're all uh italian and there's this thing called the feast of the seven fishes and it's like oh. a old <laughs> yeah it's like an old Italian tradition for Christmas Eve dinner you have to have seven fish it don't matter what kind of fish it is just seven fish and a big bowl of pasta yeah oh that's great I love that's the best part I think oh yeah yeah Yeah. are (laughs) (laughs) are you a fan of like fish fish dinners and stuff yeah I like I like salmon a lot um and I, I try to eat really clean so i i eat, do eat salmon pretty regularly mm-hmm. um, okay yeah but but chicken i eat pretty much every meal oh um, really yeah yeah or eggs nice how about oh. you uh um i i should be as strict as you are if i was as, as strict as you my body would probably look almost near yours <laughs> well. but uh, I do cheat a lot yeah and um you know like pizza and Chinese food and Mexican yeah. food and <laughs> I love but that I do throw in like salmon and veggies and stuff like like that I tr- I do try to eat somewhat some somewhat healthy but sometimes it works out like that sometimes it don't but I should be a little more strict with that yeah if you make like an effort I think it's good yeah and you could grow on that you know you you don't have to (laughs) so but you you have like a very good belt and um I know food has a really big part of of how you have your your uh, body looking um so you said like what are like some of the foods you you eat for your diet i mean i know you said like salmon and eight eggs and chicken and stuff right yeah i eat i eat a lot of um a lot of chicken and so i i pretty much eat protein and vegetables like constantly i'll do like a carb in the morning sometimes like it like a oat, oatmeal yeah. Or um, I do like keto waffles because keto has lower carbs and I like um, not eating a lot of carbs <laughs> to make myself, that's like my personal, like I feel happier. Um, so I do eat like keto type, like cereal, I eat keto waffles, oh. um, but a lot of eggs, a lot of, I do eat acai bowls and, and yeah. protein smoothies. Um and fruit, and I eat a lot of ice cream, but it's healthy ice cream. Okay. Called Nix. It's amazing. Yeah. So it's like 100 calories for a pint. Oh, really? Okay. So I I try to take everything I like, but just make it healthy. Okay. Now, the, the ice cream, is it like, is it like, briars like that kind of ice cream or is it 
or do, do, do they do something like is it vegan or anything or um that you they have like vegan options but it's not um it's not generally vegan but they're they're just first i don't know how they do it to be honest but they they basically create like ice cream it tastes like like ice cream um but it's like high in protein high in fiber low in sugar and sugar is like the biggest thing i try to stay away from oh so. definitely yeah yeah i'm the same with that so at least we do something the same right not not eating sugar <laughs> yeah i think it's like the biggest i love like sweet stuff so mm. it's, yeah it's hard sometimes <laughs> and i like when you were saying you do the the keto waffles and cereal i had no idea they made that like what, what kind of um like what kind of 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 foods do they have for that for for keto um they pretty much have everything oh wow that you like like so um and be honestly truly because i live in la all of it's very available yeah so i when i come back here actually i look at the supermarkets and it's not as like i guess like focused around like health <laughs> maybe so it's a little harder but you could pretty much get yeah anything you like just a healthy version of it at this point and keto is good even though i don't try to get into like ketosis which basically like burns your fat i don't oh. try for that um but um i do eat keto oriented stuff because it's low in carbs oh okay um, try to keep like a very low carb diet and high in fiber which is great so, oh nice yeah so it if if you do go to eat something say like rice or pasta like what kind of rice do you eat and pasta um cauliflower flour rice i eat all the time okay so like constantly i eat cauliflower rice it's so low in calories and um there's like no harm in it at all like when you eat it so pasta I'm, I'm not like a pasta person but i know you're italian <laughs> i'm italian too actually oh nice <laughs> so i know there's like chickpea pasta and that's supposed to be healthier but it's not something i personally um eat that much of okay but there's also like zucchini noodles which are great and i heard of that i never noodles. had it yet butternut squash noodles i love and i'll put like sugar-free maple syrup on it nice so good so Oh man, this is sounding so good. I'm hungry. I didn't even eat dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made I made a list for a friend of mine who was like interested. I could send that to you. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Because I I am trying to go a little more more healthy with like my diet and what I eat. I mean, you know, I'm not going to give up everything. Like, I mean, I'm a I'm, I'm a big fan of of Pete. Of pizza and pasta but i want to cut it you know not yeah. eating it as as much and replace the amount i eat with like healthier stuff <laughs> yeah totally yeah. It's, yeah, it's doable i think it takes like a moment to get used to it but i think it's pretty uh when you like get on the the groove yeah it's definitely you know like a good it feels good like i think so you kind of get me addicted to it nice nice so like for dinner and stuff what would you usually eat for for dinner like is it like grilled chicken every night or chicken one night salmon the other night um i eat chicken a lot so yeah. definitely chicken grilled chicken um turkey burgers i eat all the time i love um, those yeah and also just i eat regular burgers as well okay uh, and then I'll pair that generally with like vegetable, like a mixed vegetable or a salad or cauliflower rice, which is cauliflower rice is kind of a go-to for me at this point. Yeah. Do you ever have the ca cauliflower crust pizza yet? Yeah, I have. It's really good. It is. Um, it is. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I like it too um 
so, cauliflower is kind of coming up everywhere now, I feel like. So oh, I know. Kind of, yeah, one of my favorite things. Yeah. Nice. So for, for your break here for Christmas Eve and Christmas night dinner, did you, did you, did you go off your diet? Like, was it like? Um, I did. I ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when I like eat, when I cheat, like I have a cheat day every, every day, like every, uh, once a week, yeah. I like go really hard. Yeah. I'll eat whatever I want. Like, okay. totally. yeah. So I had like probably four pieces of cake. I had penny vodka. <laughs> I had calamari, steak, nice. chicken, lobster. Yeah. Oh, some lobster. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it was really, it was good for sure. Uh, How nice. about you? Um, well, for Christmas Eve dinner, like I said, we did like the seven fishes and a, uh, they made like a big bowl of linguine with, with clams. And, mm. you know, we, we had flounder and mussels and and um schmelts and uh, and, uh, shrimp and crab balls it was like all kinds of different like fishes Mm. (laughs) wow yeah i love i love that for sure my grandma does that too oh really yeah so yeah nice nice Do, do you do you like um soup sushi I do. I don't eat it that often though. I don't, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> it has rice in it, like regular rice. And I don't oh, yeah. eat regular rice that much. I know, like, I know this little, like I could be a little crazy with it, but um, yeah, I don't eat a lot of sushi. I okay. love it. Yeah. Well, do you eat a lot of sushi? I, I love it. I, I, I don't eat a, a lot of it, but I mean, once it's in front of me, I'll order a lot of it. And I try to get like the sushi with with the brown, the brown rice, because they actually make it now with either like brown rice or the white, the white rice. Yeah. And I I always try to get it with the brown rice. I mean, I I know brown rice isn't that much different from the white rice, but I don't know. <laughs> A lot of people like eat brown rice for sure. Like a lot of people that I talk to who are really into fitness, probably like who count like their macros and stuff. And brown rice is like a big thing for them. So okay, okay. So I'm doing something right then, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah from what I hear, yeah. <laughs> no. <Nice. laughs> and how often do you like go to the gym and stuff? Because like I said, like you, you, you definitely have a really good belt and, and, um, do you hit the gym like every, every other day or a few days a week? Usually six times a day. Wow. I'm sorry. We, yeah. Six times a week. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll go to the gym and then I'll have like a day off. Oh, but wow. Some days, like I don't do as much, you know, as others. So like some days I'll just do like abs and cardio. Okay. And then like, like kind of do more like weightlifting on other days, you know? So, um, yeah. Nice. Yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) I'm I'm just, it's been become like a big part of my life now. So, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Now, if you're working on your your abs like be doing the running and and cart and cardio is like a big part of um of of working on your abs like it's not only just doing sit-ups and crunches and all that like it's actually running and and stuff like that too right yeah yeah and i think eating as well like well well yeah of course Oh my God. It's crazy. Like if I go off for a couple of days and like, um, like honestly, like the, this last week, you know, like I ate like an, like an animal, <laughs> I'll definitely notice like a less, like less definition. Um, so I think diet's huge, uh, for like abs. Yeah. That I've been 
us at least. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it's kind of like what you want. I had in my mind, like when I, I when I was like 24 years old, I was like, what body do I want? And I wanted like Tom Daly, the swimmer. Oh yeah, the swimmer, yeah. I just think he has a great body. So I was like, and I feel like very nice body, yeah. I like more more so my personality. So I kind of worked towards that. Um I started doing like bar exercises, which was more dance oriented. So oh. like my limbs would become more defined. Um and that also goes into like like ab work and stuff. So that's kind of where I started. And I like I I don't know, I I've grown to really love it. So, oh wow. Yeah. Well, that's that's someone definitely to to look at if you want to get like that perfect toned up body tom the daily like that guy doesn't have a an ounce of fat on him <laughs> yeah exactly it's like yeah, it's it's muscular but lean and um yeah i think it's kind of like what i wanted yeah <laughs> oh definitely yeah do do you like swim too and stuff no i don't actually i go to the pool <laughs> i don't really <laughs> I go to pool parties and go to like the pool, but I don't like I don't swim very much. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Uh, no, I I actually never learned how to swim. So if I ever fall over a boat, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think like like where we grew up. Did you grow up in Philly? Yeah. Okay. I don't think people. At least, like where I'm from as well, like swimming wasn't, you know, so much a thing. Um, but I think on the West Coast, it might be a little bit more, obviously, because uh, the weather. Yeah, true. Violent. Yeah. And you mentioned like you 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 do you either have or go to pool 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 part parties, and um, like I. I hear a lot about them around like, you know, where you live at in California, like a lot, a lot of places over there have like parties by the pool. And, you know, if your house has a pool in it, they throw parties. And yeah, um, unfortunately in Philly, like we don't have those. So I have to ask how fun are one of those parties? Like I see them a lot on television shows when like the, teenagers in high school are throwing a pool party when their parents are out <laughs> yeah. yeah um I guess it's like such an LA thing to be honest because I mean in New York no one has pools so yeah, yeah. Um, Philly too kind of like, yeah so <laughs> I think like now that I've, I I live there it's they're fun but I also don't drink so oh, okay. it's they don't get crazy for me I'm pretty pretty low key um yeah but they are really fun I think it's cool to like you know I like wearing like a speedo do you yeah know? so like I like going like for a moment and, and then, nice yeah chilling yeah well you know you're doing all this work like dieting and working out you definitely have to show off the body when you get invited to these parties yeah, yeah, I definitely, th I, I hope so. so yeah. Um, yeah, people have insane bodies in LA, so it's like very intimidating, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But, well, you, you, you know, if I ever come over here to visit, you have to show me where one of these, these, these pool parties are at. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so fun, yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of, I, I haven't gone to like a, a pool party or anything in in LA in like the winter but the summer I feel like there it's all the time wow like really hotels are like yeah it's kind of fun for sure if you come oh um, wow you know yeah definitely nice <laughs> yeah no it's it's definitely cool for sure oh, okay and I see you 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 make clothes right like you you're big into fashion and making clothes um how did how did everything start for you like what what was what was your passion to do it um when I was like 
like young, I always loved like, I honestly like shopping, you know, like I didn't like, if you talk to people in New York who like fashion, it's like a different language. They'll <laughs> know, you know, like Chanel seasons and I don't know that. <laughs> I, I like to shop and I like, I always wanted to do a clothing brand when I was a kid. So um, it was just important to me to do it uh, when I got older. Mm -hmm. And during COVID, I kind of took that time to, to kind of like explore that. So I created Sparrow Blue, which is my clothing brand. Um, and yeah, so it's been like a passion project. So oh, wow. Yeah. So how long did it did it take take you to actually get your your um clothing line ready and and you know ready ready to be seen and and get the clothes together and everything? Um I it probably took I had to I you know it's a really interesting process actually I guess like starting a brand because um there's so many elements to it and kind of like mm -hmm it was cool kind of like thinking about exactly what I wanted everything to look like or the logo. Yeah. I have a sparrow blue tattoo or yeah, blue sparrow tattoo. And that's the logo. So I had that designed by a tattoo artist and nice. um, like kind of like built on that. And then I, it, to make the actual like first collection or like that I put out, it was like um, maybe three months it took okay. to do all. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was, it's, it's a cool, very cool, creative, like it allows me to be creative, which I love um, experience. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I'm just saying something. Yeah, definitely, definitely do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This shirt is actually, I like, uh, is a part of it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. No, it's, it's, really nice shirt i like it thank you nice it actually fits well too yeah i like kind of like a tight uh like a tight fit on on t-shirts okay nice yeah it's unisex so i try to like make it for everyone yeah. sweet nice and how do you how do you think of different designs and for your clothes um i think it kind of started off with denim jackets and that i had been doing for just like customizing denim jackets for friends of mine um mm -hmm. for years so um i don't really know like how i thought <laughs> of doing it but i'm really into the evil eye because i'm i'm a pretty spiritual person i would say yeah and um, that's incorporated in the denim jackets and a lot of my stuff as well. And I have a tattoo of it here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess whatever I feel like doing, I do. And yeah. um, it's all kind of like a learning experience and like see what sells and like what doesn't sell. And um, even like what people look at the most, what people don't mm. look at the most. Yeah. It's definitely like a cool, very cool experience. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Is, is there anything like, um, anything you want to try? Like, is there a, a, any, any, de, any designs you want to try or, or do like a special kind of clothing? Um, I think like the jackets are my favorite thing to do because mm -hmm. they're so much fun and like, I just like, I'll take paint and like throw paint on them, you know? So it's like very, like, it's fun, you know? Nice. Um, but I would love to do like, a lot of my photos are of like us in underwear. Okay. Like, me, my friends are in the photos. So it's like me and my friends in underwear. The men are generally in underwear actually. And um, like doing underwear would be cool. I think actually. Oh, nice. Maybe that. Just like maybe like a brief to start. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That sounds that sounds good. Uh, yeah. You know, especially if if you and your friends are wearing them and mop modeling them, that would that would definitely get like 
you know, guys to buy it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's like, yeah, like with that, it, I would have to like look for like someone who makes underwear. Or like, well, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, yeah, it's definitely like, it's cool. It's like to think of. Um, yeah, like, I guess like the options are endless in that sense, but right. it's cool to see like what what's popular, like mm -hmm. what people click on, like on my website and what pictures like create like, um, like a stir, you know? So yes, definitely. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you also mentioned that you like horror films and I always ask my guests this when they're on the show uh what are some horror films you like watching I like screams because I grew up with scream um it's yeah I think it I mean I know it's not like actually scary but <laughs> and then I don't know if you saw this one did you see it follows oh yeah that was crazy yeah that was yeah. one that was more recent I feel like that I really enjoyed so yeah what are your some of your favorites oh my god um well of course I like all the the Halloweens and yeah. the Elm Streets and Jason and Chucky and but um I also like a lot of the old school horrors like nine 1990s and 80s uh Night of the Deep demons is actually one of like my favorite horror films mm. and then there's another one called prom prom night two prom night one that was was pretty good too but uh, to me i like the second one better <laughs> i've never seen it i saw the first oh okay nice yeah jamie jamie lee curtis was in was in the first one. Oh, really yeah oh okay that's a throwback. That's I a know. Game. Yeah, that's cool. I should that, watch. And then there's there's the, the the movie that a lot of people never hear of, and they laugh at me when I say it: the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> I think I've heard of it. Where is that one? <laughs> what, what was that? Where would you find that? Um, I've you never can heard actually, of that. you can actually find that movie anywhere because like it's real big in the horror world like it has a, a big cult cult following with horror fans the killer clowns from outer space like it's actually like a big film in the horror world yeah i think i've i think i've heard of it but i i don't think i've ever heard anyone like talk about it or <laughs> yeah. what it's about but. yeah yeah they probably don't don't want to talk about it that's why and like it, i mean just like the stuff they do in the movies absolutely crazy like they'll they'll shoot you with a cotton candy gun and they wrap you in cotton candy and then they get a crate crazy straw remember those like straws with all different loops in it mm, i don't know <laughs> a straw yeah they get like this big straw and they stick it through the cotton candy where the person is oh, in yeah, it yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and they drink the people's blood oh through the God. Is it like comedy or is it more so? It, it's it's more it's more comedy than horror because I mean the, the clowns are just going around shooting people with cotton candy guns. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll watch it or I'll look for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I love I love thrillers. I love horror movies. I don't know. I like a thrill. You know, like it's fun nice yeah and like what about television shows like do you do you uh, binge binge watch anything i do um i love like what did i just binge watch oh i binge watched made oh it's yeah yeah, yeah. On netflix and i loved it um yeah I, I do do that, like, especially, I guess, like, during this time, this week between Christmas and New Year's Eve, it's, like, the best time to do it that. It is. Deal. So, I've been watching that, and then I watched the Colton Underwood, like, coming out show. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. 
I just started to watch it. It's actually really good. I think nice. it's really good. Yeah. I don't know anything about him. So I just, I saw it and I was like, sure, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I never watched The Bachelor really or anything. <laughs> Did you? You know, I never watched that, that show at, at all. Like I, I, I see commercials and trailers and when I see that I have no interest in it <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I did hear about that show I definitely want to see it the the Colton show yeah 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 it was what? good okay good good yeah, it's interesting. I just, I like hearing like people's stories, what they've been through. Like, exactly. I just, so I love documentaries and biographies. Is that biographies? Biopics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what that show is, right? It's a, a biopic, right? Like a series. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. It's, it's interesting. Oh, sweet. Definitely, definitely will watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I like documentaries too. Do you? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So nice. I like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and what about songs and stuff? Like, what's on your play playlist? What kind of 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 music do you like? I like pop and rock music generally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I like like I love Lana Del Rey. I love Britney Spears, The Killers. Uh huh. Um, I love Elton John. I kind of like Billy Joel. Like, like I like that kind of stuff too. Um, how about you? All the ones you said, definitely. And um, I I'm more of like a a rock guy, but I love pop too. Um, you know, like rock. I'll listen to bands like Aerosmith and Bon Jovi and Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, like my range of rock goes like all over and, and, yeah. and then pop I love too like all, all the people you mentioned for pop like I I love them and um I'm I'm a huge Paula Abdul fan like I love really? her <laughs> wow that's so cool what's your favorite song um my love is for real did you, did you ever hear that one no I don't that was one of her like lesser known ones because when she made her um fourth fourth album that the album didn't really do so so well mm. but to me the album was amazing like i loved it like i don't know why it didn't do well and that's off that album yeah that happens i think sometimes with when you're like a fan of someone and they put out an album sometimes like the most panned album i feel like is the best right exactly yeah. i know it's crazy yeah and it, it, it was not like when when COVID wasn't here yet <laughs> yeah um paula abdul went on tour and it was her first tour in 25 years oh wow really and, and i went to the show to see her and i bought a backstage pass like they were selling like the 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 meet the meet and greets with her and mm. i i went with my my mom and because my mom loves paula too mm. and me and her went and saw a show and she did amazing like her dance moves were on key like she didn't lose a step like her dance was great and the songs were great so then after the show was over you know, I pulled the curtain. It was my turn to go see her, and I pulled the curtain. She was right behind the curtain. I just froze, and but and I I couldn't move. I was just like frozen. And my mom was with me, and my mom's laughing, and she's and she told Paula, she's like, "Oh, Paula, my son has loved you since he was like five. and she was like, "This is like a dream come true for him." And Paula went, "Oh." And she walked over and she gave me a big hug and she was talking to me. And I was like, oh my God, Paul Abdul is talking to me. <laughs> That's so sweet. That's yeah. amazing. Oh my God. That's the coolest. When was that? Yeah. You, was recently? 
No, that was like right before COVID hit. So oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because she she hasn't toured at all ever since, you know, ever since COVID. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. She always seemed like a nice person. Oh, my gosh. She was so nice. Like, just yeah. like walking up to me and giving me a big hug because I was nervous to walk in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I love like hearing <laughs> stories that like that, like, like, like celebrities or people who you admire, like are actually really nice people definitely definitely yeah, yeah and she, she was awesome though like after i broke out of my shell i talked to her a little bit and she was talking to me and my mom and she was saying how nice it is that that mother and the son or came to see her show and it, and she she loved how close that me and my mom were and, and and yeah it was she was she was like really sweet oh that's cool that's awesome yeah that's I don't, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen her around in a while, but um, she always seemed really sweet on like American Idol. Yeah, 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 exactly. She's my favorite <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, is there is there anything coming coming out for you that you want to like talk about or push? Like, a, any new clothing lines or something you're doing? Yeah, so I, I currently, I mean, my my store, sparrowblueclothing.com is like the URL or whatever, <laughs> is um, I constantly have stuff on it. So there is products on it and um, I would love if everyone checked it out and I love to kind of hear feedback and and uh, yeah, like what everyone thinks. It's It's been kind of like a cool experience. So I, I love kind of like hearing what people think about it and Hopefully people like it. Yeah. Sweet. And where can fans find you at? Like what's your pages? Well, me, I'm just my Instagram would be Brett Quigley. Um, yeah. So that's really all that's where I am right now. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I I kind of yeah, put a lot of, I guess, focus into my business at the moment and um yeah hopefully all of that like goes you know continues to go well so nice yeah well i definitely i definitely want to thank you for taking time out coming on the show and i'm glad you're taking a nice little break and being being with friends family and and having fun and just relaxing for this this week between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me and um, I love your show and oh thank you. Your energy. I think you you're just a good person. So I let me know when you come to the West Coast and we can hang out. Definitely, definitely want definitely de definitely want to come down and and see everything. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank, thanks buddy um just want to say have a good night and happy 2022 <laughs> thank you you too happy new year bye-bye <laughs> <laughs>